The promise of Chromebook Plus is pretty simple. Make devices that have all the necessary hardware to deliver a great all-around Chrome OS experience at a price that doesn't hurt too bad. And so far, every Chromebook Plus model that I've used for any amount of time has delivered on this promise, so it should come as no surprise when I tell you that the Lenovo Flex 5i Chromebook Plus is fantastic, imperfect, but a very enjoyable Chromebook experience. Let's talk about it. And before we get going, a quick apology for my voice. I've been dealing with laryngitis. Uh, I've, I've made my vocal cords mad, and they're not uh, quick to forgive, apparently. So uh, I, I'm sorry my voice sounds like this. I'm doing everything I can to make it go away, but we also don't want to stop making content, and we don't want to stop getting through these Chromebook Plus reviews so that you guys can see them. So uh, bear with me through this, and uh, this is a shorter review, so you won't have to listen to my scratchy throat too long. Early on, before Chromebook Plus was actually unveiled, I was under the impression that the Slim 3i Chromebook from Lenovo wasn't just a soon-to-be Chromebook Plus model itself, but it was also like an example of what Chromebook Plus would mean from a build quality standpoint. I mean, that device's like ultra-rigid frame is just so impressive feeling, and I really thought that was going to be like a marker of Chromebook Plus quality. Unfortunately, the Slim 3i is a bit of a unicorn in that regard, and overall build quality on Chromebook Plus devices is... Well, fine. I mean, for the most part, it's not bad, but it's not standout either. And that definitely applies to the Flex 5i here. Like many other Chromebooks, the all aluminum and glass lid feels really great, but it makes the plastic keyboard deck feel just average by comparison. There's only moderate flex in the bottom half of the chassis and all the seams come together very nicely. So overall, I'd say the build quality is good, not great. It's not exceptional, but it's not a deal breaker either. But a big upgrade Lenovo included in this version of the Flex 5i is in the display department. Versus the older models of this Chromebook, this new 16x10, 14 inch 1080p screen looks really great. It's bright at over 300 nits. And with reasonable sized bezels all around, it really becomes one of the real highlights of the Flex 5i. Look, I always wanna see 400 nits to really fawn over a screen, but this one is really good. And it's an important step up from the older 250 nit 16 by nine screens that Lenovo used to use on the Flex 5 series. Above that screen, you get the Chromebook Plus certified 1080p webcam with temporal noise reduction. And with the additional camera tricks provided by a Chromebook Plus, like background blur and enhanced lighting correction, you can actually get decent images and videos from this camera. Like most Chromebooks, it's a small sensor, so don't expect like cinema quality or anything, but it does look pretty good with decent lighting. And though the keyboard deck isn't as rigid as I'd prefer, the typing experience is still really Really good and the spacious smooth trackpad performs just like you would expect. If I'm going to be a little bit picky, I'd like the keys to be a bit firmer. There's like a little bit of wobble to the keycaps that makes the keyboard feel a bit loose, but I've been really fast and accurate on this keyframe, so I can't complain too much. And as always, having backlighting there is nice to have. And flanking that keyboard is a set of upward facing stereo speakers that are quite good. The speakers and devices like the HP X360 14C do outclass this one a bit, but the sound from these speakers is full and loud. It's good enough for some YouTube content or light gaming here and there. Around the sides of the device, we also get a nice port selection, including two USB type C's, USB type A, headphone microphone jack, micro SD card slot, and a Kensington lock. If I'm going to gripe a little bit though, I would love to see a full size HDMI port here so that I wouldn't have to get out a dongle or a dock whenever I'm at the desk. But having USB type C on each side and a decent docking station does take care of that. And we almost don't have to talk about the internals, do we? With Chromebook Plus, you know it's fast, but I'll go over them anyway. The Flex 5i has the Intel Core i3 1315U, 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, and that means things are fast and efficient. At no point in my work did I ever run into any performance issues, and I'd imagine you probably won't either. I mean, from general Chromebook tasks to multitasking to cloud gaming, this Chromebook, not surprisingly, handled all of it with ease, and it can do all that while maintaining an eight to 10 hour battery life. I mean, there's just nothing to complain about here. And I think overall, that's the takeaway. Yeah, some Chromebook Plus models are better than others, and I think this one is one of the best, but, all of them are great at the main Chromebook stuff, and that's where Google has done something pretty cool with this entire Chromebook Plus thing. We still have other models to review, of course, but I feel like I'll be saying a lot of the same stuff with each of those reviews, and that's a good thing. Now you just have to decide what size or what form factor you want, and you can know that if it's a Chromebook Plus, 
it's probably pretty good. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.